Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. This is Ms. Carr and welcome to Learning Physics. So in this video, we're going to study about scientific notation in addition and subtraction. As we start, let us get to know first the rules in addition and subtraction with same exponents. Okay, so when adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation, it should be that the exponents are the same. So the first thing that we need to do is to align the decimal points of every coefficient. Next is align the power of 10 and then add or subtract the coefficients and then bring down the power of 10. Okay, so let us have here an example. So in addition, we have 2.10 times 10 to the 4th plus 1.25 times 10 to the 4th. So, anong himuunta? I-add ta sila. So, let us add here. 0 plus 5, this is equal to 5. This is equal to 5. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And 2 plus 1 another here is equal to 3. So, we have here for our answer, we have... There, 3.35 times 10 to the 4th. Okay, so yan. Next, we have here 8.29 times 10 to the negative 2 plus 1.25 times 10 to the negative 2. Just simply add the values we have here. 9 plus 4, we have 14, carry 1. Okay, and then we have 1 plus 2 plus 2, we have 5, and 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. And then you bring down the power of 10. And that's for the addition. Now, how about for the subtraction? So we have here 6.05 times 10 to the third minus 4.30 times 10 to the third. So how are we going to answer that? So, our answer here would be 1.75 times 10 to the third. So, how can that be? So, we have here 5 minus 0 is equal to 5, of course. We have 0 minus uh, 3 is um, cannot be. So, we have here 10 because we borrowed 1 from 6. So, this is just simple subtraction. So, 10 minus 7 is, uh, sorry, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7 and then 5 Minus 4 is equal to 1, and then you bring down the power of 10. Simple as that. And another example is 7.20 times 10 to the negative 7 minus 5.10 times 10 to the negative 7. Just simply subtract. We have 2.10 for our coefficient, so that will be multiplied to the power of 10, which is 10 to the negative 7. So again, if you're going to take a look there, if you have the same power of 10s in each scientific notation, just simply bring down the power of 10. Okay? Sige. Let's have another example. So we have 31.45 times 10 to the 9th plus 8.7 times 10 to the 9th. So diba, hambal ni Nis? Um, on my previous video, if you watched, that ang ato niya scientific notation kinanglan isa lang ang whole number. But there are times nga gagamit kita diri during the operations uh, nato nga ginasolve uh, when using operations there. Um, it's because nakadepende na siya kisa sa problem or sa situations ang ato niya ginasolve. Okay, but of course, for our final answer, kinanglan isa lang gid ang whole number. Kay hindi pwede maglapaw sa 9 ang atong nga whole number sa scientific notation. Okay, now let us try to add these um, values. Okay, so we have here 31.45 plus 8.7 is equal to 40.5. 15. So this is just simple addition. So 5 here, 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry 1, 1 plus 1, 
plus 8 is equal to 10. Carry 1. <laughs> there, 40.15 times 10 to the 9th. Okay. So, paano to ni siya i-write ang atong yung final answer? So, we are going to move place going to the left. Nga ang move place kita going to the left. Okay, para isa lang ang atong niya whole number for our final answer. So, for our final answer, we have 4.015 times 10 to the 10. So, always remember that if we are going to move places, going to the left, we are adding exponents. If we move to the right, we are subtracting exponents. By the way, ha, we are talking about exponents here. If we move again to the left, we are adding exponents. If we move to the right, we are subtracting exponents. I hope that it's clear. Well, anyway, that's for addition. Now, let's go now to the subtraction. So, we have here 49 times 10 to the negative 9. Okay. Minus 5.7 times 10 to the negative 9. So, how are we going to answer that? So, we have 43.30 times 10 to the negative 9. Of course, simple subtraction. 0, bring down. We have your 10. Mahimo siya 10 because mabaro kita divi 1. It will become 8. So, 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And bring down 4. And also bring down the power of 10. And by the way, we have here two whole numbers for our answers. So, we need, we need to um, have one whole number for our final answer. So for our final answer, we have 4.33 times 10 to the negative 8. Miss, pwede miss, butangan ko siya 0. Pwede, yung chak to mo na gihapon. Okay, so again, we, uh, uh, we move place going to the left. So from negative 9, nag-add kita 1. So from negative 9 yung exponent, mahimo siya negative 8. So, 4.33 times 10 to the negative 8 for our final answer. I hope nga nag-gets nyo lang. Okay. Now, let us try naman to add this. So, we have 22.20 times 10 to the negative 12 plus 8.7 times 10 to the negative 12. Simple addition. So we have here 30.90 times 10 to the negative 12. And of course, since we have here two um, whole numbers, move one place going to the left. For our final answer, it would be 0 0.090 times 10 to the negative 11. Again, nag add kita 1. Um, exponent, tag plus 1 kita sa exponent. So, from negative 12, ma-add kita 1, mahimu kita negative 11. So, nag-move kita 1 place to the left. Okay. Next, let's go to the subtraction. We have 58.20 times 10 to the 7 minus 5.75 times 10 to the 7th. Okay. Simple subtraction. We have 52.45 times 10 to the 7, bring down the exponent, oh, sorry, the power of 10, rather. Okay, so we need to move one place going to the left. So from 7 there nga, exponent, it'll, it will become to the 8. Okay, nag plus 1 kita sa exponent. So for our final answer, we have 5.245 times 10 to the 8. Okay, so I hope na nakuha lang nga dumamaster na get. Okay. So that's how we solve for the values um, with the same exponents. Okay. So how about if it has different exponents? Ba? So again, di ba? When adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation, it should be that the exponents are the same. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so what are we going to do if the scientific notations 
are having different exponents. Okay, so first, you need to check the exponents. Then, move to the left to make the exponents the same. Ma-move kita. Nga, ma-move kita to the left because we need to follow the larger exponent. Okay? Next, align the decimal points of every coefficient. Align the power of 10 and add or subtract the coefficients and then bring down the power of 10. So, ang ginhimo talang, gindugangan talang siya gamay na ubra if we have different exponents. So, una ho, check da na yung exponents and then kung hindi sila ganit pariyo, move to the left and follow the larger exponent. Okay? So, there. Let us try to have this example. So, for addition, let's say we have 2.10 times 10 to the 4th plus 1.25 times 10 to the 3rd. Take note, we don't have the same exponents. So, again, we need to check the exponent if different sila. We need to follow the larger exponent. So, in order for us to follow the larger exponent, we need to move one place to the right. So, may mga sa zero point. Ay, nadasya. Yan. So, this is what will happen. So, we have 2.10 times 10 to the 4th plus 0 0.125 times 10 to the 4th. Ang 3, yung dugangan ta, one, uh, one na exponent sa naging mo siya 4. They now have the same exponent. Okay, since the same na sila, then it's easy for us to add the two values. So just do the simple addition. So we have here 2.225 uh, 2 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, so parihas na dayon ang himuon nyo. Once mapariho mo na exponent, okay na gidayon. Okay, another example. We have 8.29 times 10 to the negative 4 plus 1.25 times 10 to the negative 2. So, which is the larger exponent? Is it the negative 4 or the negative 2? Of course, it is the negative 2. Mas taas yung negative 2 kumpara kay negative 4. So, therefore, what are we going to do? We need to move places going to the left para magpariyo si negative 4 kay negative 2. So, we have to add here 1... So, my negative 3, another 1, my negative 2. So, 0. 0. Amo na siya dapat ang atin yung value. So, let us take a look here. So, we have 0. 0.0829 times 10 to the negative 2 plus 1.25 times 10 to the negative 2. Just do the simple addition. And there you have it. We have there 1.3329 times 10 to the negative simple as that we can now have our final answer well anyway if you want to use your calculators you, you are free to do so to check if our answers are correct okay and well anyway that's for addition how about for the subtraction so we have here 2.10 times 10 to the negative 3 minus 1.25 times 10 to the negative 5. So we have here negative 3, which is the larger exponent, and negative 5, which is the smaller. So therefore, si negative 5 ang i-move ta going to the left. So we have 1, 2. Okay, so we have here negative 4 and negative 3. Tandang 0. Okay, another 0. So this is how it looks like. So, there it is. So, 2.10 times 10 to the 3rd minus 0 0.0125 times 10 to the negative 3. So, for our answer, we have 2.0875 times 10 to the negative 3. Simple subtraction. Okay, another example. So, we have here 8.29 times 10 to the 9th. Minus 1.25 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, which is the larger exponent? Of course, it is the 9. Okay, so we need to move two places to the, to the 
left. One, two. So we have here seven, eight, and nine. We have zero here. Dot there. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then zero. Yeah. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We have 8.29 times 10 to the ninth. Minus 0 0.0125 times 10 to the ninth. Do the simple subtraction. And we have there 8.2775 times 10 to the ninth as our final answer. So, I get lang. Okay. So, I think it's your turn man, to solve for these values. Okay. So, please get your pens, get your notebooks or your gadgets, and please solve for this. You may pause the video if you need time to answer, and please come back if you're done. And let us check if we got the same correct answers. Okay, did you have correct answers? So if you have the same answers with me, therefore, you already know on how to add or subtract values in scientific notation. So very good, everybody. And by the way, this is all for our lesson in addition and subtraction of values that involves scientific notation. And for our next video, we will be studying scientific notation in multiplication and division. So everybody, see you in our next video and thank you for listening. I hope that you've learned something. Bye!